Hey there, I'm Laura Noel and welcome to my Minimalist Kitchen Tour. I am so glad you're joining me today, so let's get right into it. In our first cupboard, we have dishes. So we only keep four large plates, medium-sized plates like lunch plates, small bowls, cereal bowls, and then I have one glass bowl. We just keep four. We are a family of four, including just one toddler, and so we don't keep extras because we hand wash all our dishes and we do that several times a day and we keep them very, very minimal. I do have two extra sets of these Corel white dishes for company stored above our fridge, our little storage cabinet, but we almost never pull them out. Up here is our cups. It's a hot mess, but um, I eventually want to get a, one set of stacking matching cups. These don't stack. They break when you do that, and it drives me nuts, and we have large ones and small ones, but we still only have two of these large ones, two small ones. My daughter has a stainless steel one. My daughter also has a unicorn cup. You know, it is what it is. We have two Corel mugs and two glass mugs that are my favorite. And my husband still has his favorite large coffee mug. But that's, and then my toddler has the cup as well. Um, but that's all we keep here. We do have a couple extra cups, again, in storage, but pretty much we keep these. And honestly, most of these are sitting out on the counter, so this doesn't look as packed during regular days. This side, I have all of our storage containers. So I have like four of these small glass ones. I think I have four or five of these rectangle ones. I always keep them with their lids on and stack them so I know exactly how much I have. I have two of these, like two cup ones, and then one slightly bigger one there. I have a set of toddler dishes because I have a toddler. Those will go eventually, but for now, this is where they stay. We also have um, my husband's coffee cup and my daughter's water bottle. On the top shelf, we have mason jars, various sizes of them. I use these for food storage, uh, for decanting my dry goods. Uh, we use the small ones for water cups and milk cups when we need to. So these get used very often and I still keep it pretty minimal. I, I only have like two to six of each size, but they are used all the time. I have white plastic lids up here for them because I hated the metal lids and these are so much easier. Normally I do have one larger um, glass storage bin here, but it currently has cookies in the fridge in it. The next cupboard has all of our wellness and medicine. So we have actual medicines in our lock cabinet. Um, kind of my husband's vitamins and things like that, kind of my vitamins and things like that, homeopathic liquids, herbal medicines, and other homeopathic pills up here. And then we also keep all of our sharp things, our knives, pizza cutters, scissors up here to keep them away from the toddlers. This last cabinet's a little bit hard to reach, so it keeps like our Pyrex dishes. I have one eight by eight. I also have a nine by 13 that goes here that has food in the fridge. One glass salad bowl, one glass pitcher. I have a couple water bottles over here that I keep. And then up here, I just have some um, pumping supplies right now, which again, that's gonna go soon, but for now, that's where it is. So I will have that shelf completely clear pretty soon. I try very hard to keep our counters clear. It is hard to do, but we have our dish rack here because we do all hand washing. I try to hand wash after every meal. That keeps it minimal and they dry and you put them away and it's very easy. It doesn't always happen, but we try. We have a small composting bin there that we take out to our larger compost. Keeps it very simple and not too smelly. Over on this side, we have Alexa, and then a small bin for things, little electronics, things I charge here. Often I charge my phone and my watch here. Um, and then like TV remotes, because a toddler, those things get kept up here on the counter. Now onto our silverware drawer. I only keep four of everything. So four forks, four large spoons, four small spoons. And then this is baby toddler, and then my daughter's small utensils as well, and knives. In the back, it's kind of a hot mess, but we use everything here. Silicone straws, my daughter loves. A plastic spoon that we use. Here's a little 
I have kids, you know. <laughs> One ice cream scoop. Some serving spoons. And my teaspoons for cooking. In the very back, I have prepackaged sets of plastic silverware that we take to co-op and picnics, ready to just grab and go. I only have one set of toddler silverware. I used to have three sets, and then I do have one back here to go to co-op, but we only keep one now, and I wash it every time, and it works so much better. They're not cluttering everything up. We only have one drawer of bakeware utensils. So in here we have cheese grater, an Uncrustables little thing, a creamer, two spatulas, a plastic one and a stainless steel one, a soup ladle, my rolling pin, my daughter's rolling pin, a set of measuring cups, and then two drawers here. This one just has cheese grater, vegetable peeler and those bottle opener things and a little whatever you call that thing. <laughs> the liquid goes down. And then this one just has a whisk, my whisk attachment for my immersion blender, um, tongs, and our potato masher. Everything else is gone except one set of wooden um, spoon things by the, by the stove. I have no other cooking utensil gadget things like this. In this bottom cabinet, the big thing is I have our toaster in a bin, so it's easy to pull in and out. And the rest of this is food storage. This is our main pantry. So yeah, it's our main pantry. It's not beautiful, but it keeps the food. I use these bins to hold things like applesauce and little Cheez-It packets and things that we take to co-op or snacks on the go. Our microwave lives in this little cubby back here, and then under our sink is just very, very basic. I just have some extra dish soap, uh, carrier oil, an all-purpose cleaner, a couple of extra bottle brushes. We need to change those out frequently. And then over here is like our plastic wrap, parchment paper, aluminum foil, that kind of stuff. When it comes to pots and pans, I only have three pots. I have one of small one, this medium one, and then a larger one. And that's it. We only use those three sizes. I also only have a set of three nesting mixing bowls and that's it. Down here I keep a colander, a strainer, and my husband's funnel. Way in the back is my hand mixer, a mini waffle iron, my immersion blender, a steamer, and my zucchini vegetable spiraler, and that's it. And then my stack of contact paper thing for projects of putting on all of these things that I haven't got to yet, you know, someday I'll get to that. This is my pot holder drawer. I have two of these and then a handful of ones that we use on the counters and a couple for special occasions. These are ones that my sister actually made for me and so those are pretty special to me. Our dish towel drawer, these are our dish towels. I have got them all matching. These are um, drying cloths, flower sack towels. And then these are just washcloths that I use as um, counter cloths and stuff in the back. So everything fits nicely in there. Next to our sink, we have our water pitcher, a cutting board, a diffuser, and then these little utensils here and our stove. I do have one cast iron frying pan that basically lives on the stove. Under the stove here, I do have a set of three uh, pans. We do use all sizes. I have two muffin tins, two wire cooling racks, and one mini muffin tin. I try to keep this part of our kitchen as simple as possible. Over here, I do have our ice cream maker, which we are testing out because my daughter has an egg allergy and I can't eat processed sugar. So we've used it a couple times. I'm not sure if it's staying or not, but for right now, it has a home. Over here, we have our water, hydro water, I don't know. Something that my husband was given for Christmas. Um, 
I'm letting him decide on the fate of that. But right now it lives here. And then I have some <laughs> things for making kids like Play-Doh and salt dough and things like that. Oil, salt, all that kind of stuff. My bottom drawer holds our aprons and my you love the bag organizer. I love this thing. It is amazing to just pull out your bag and it's so neat and I can keep extras in the closet. It's just, it's wonderful. This drawer is the kids drawer. So I have the kids lunch boxes, my son's bib, you know, just the random kid things that my children like to throw everywhere in the kitchen. And then up here I have an ice mold, popsicle molds, and a juicer. The only real appliances we have are an Instapot, a food processor, and an air fryer. Um, and, and the toaster microwave, of course. But <laughs> we do use these pretty often. I haven't been using the processor as much as I used to, but I want to get back into it, so they have stayed. We've gotten rid of the blender and copy maker and things like that that we don't use, and we keep these. I kind of keep some household things in here, our household binder, tissues, money to pay my kids their allowances, you know, all that good stuff right there. This is one of my favorite cupboards in the house and this has my oil collection. It has some snacks I've decanted. It has flour, rice, sugar, coffee, all of that stuff. My spices in here, this is a little bigger than I would have liked, but it works. Over here, my we have our AeroPress. My husband likes to take it to work, so it's always bagged up and ready to go. Some baby food, snacks, coffee, and some extra decanted um, baking soda, popcorn, things that don't fit on this shelf. Above the fridge is the hardest to see, but this is kind of my overflow storage. So the sprinkles I don't want my children eating, you know. <laughs> this is where our extra bowls plates are. I have some bowls, some plasticware up there, and paper plates and things for parties we have a couple times a year. Um, there's some extra cups in the back. It's kind of a mess, but things just kind of get pushed in there, and it's just excess storage. We don't have a garage or a basement or anything like that, so we really have to keep things very streamlined in our storage. And finally, we have a very small pantry. This is where I keep extra gloves, bags, toothbrushes, toothpaste, all the things because it's a very deep thing. There's like trash bags back there and it's very hard to access anything, but it's a good place to store it when you don't need to deal with it very often. <laughs> this shelf, I have a Lazy Susan of our oils and honey and all those little things that we use very, very often. Keeps it very, very minimal and easy to access everything. Below it, we just have our vacuum, our mop, and the trash and recycling. The last area of my kitchen is this little corner where I have a mini little command station. I have our meal plan, our grocery list, a brain dump and our calendar and um, our daily schedules, a little plant and some fish, you know, all the things you need in a great kitchen. <laughs> And that is it. That is our minimalist simple living kitchen. It's important to remember that what is important to me is maybe not important to you and the things that are important to you are probably not important to me. So you may have very different things in your kitchen than I do and that's okay. This is just an example of a by the numbers of what we keep as a minimal family to make sure that our lives are going as smoothly and simply as possible. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.